So let's now look at how a website uses CDN. So a website like Facebook will use a CDN. And let's see the, from the perspective of the browser what happens there. So let's say you have this website and you're accessing this website from, let's say, Austin. When the browser receives the link for the image, assuming this is Facebook, it is our fictional version of Facebook. The link will not be, uh, it won't be facebook.com slash something. So it won't be this if it's using a CDN. Instead, the link will be from the CDN company. Let's say our fake CDN company is my CDN, or the link will be something like facebook.mycdn.com slash image. This will be the link that the browser gets. So the browser will try to hit the internet with this link. And the internet consists of DNS servers, uh, which, whose job is to locate where the server is that you're trying to hit. It tries to turn this, this URL into an IP address. And the DNS servers will direct this to a local server of MyCDN. So let's say MyCDN has a server in Austin. The DNS server will direct this request to the CDN server. If the CDN server already has has this image, it'll just return it, right? And this will be the ideal scenario where it was cached before, so the user will get the image from a local Austin server. But let's say that the CDN server does not have this image. It'll then hit Facebook's server. So let's say Facebook has a server in San Francisco. The CDN will ask Facebook for facebook.com slash image.png. Right? So it'll remove this mycdn.com and it'll ask for facebook.com. And Facebook obviously will have this and it'll return that to the CDN. The CDN will cache this image from now on and return this back to the user. So now the server can be configured with a time to live or TTL. So let's say in, in our case, we configured one day. So every cached entry will stay in the server for one day. Uh, then this image will stay in the CDN server for one day. And if anyone else in Austin or nearby hits the server, they'll get this cached entry. So this is how a CDN works. And this is how it caches images across geographic locations.